Good afternoon, everyone. This is Sam, and I'll be doing the free video for May 11th, 2020. So in this video, I'd like to show you, um, let's say, four things. I'm going to show you the indices real quick, and then I'm going to show you three different positions that I took in the room today um, that I think have pretty good setups for continuation. Um, so let's go ahead and dive in. Um, let's review the SPY first. Um, so the SPY here, or the S&P 500 index, uh, showing a daily squeeze that's starting to expand to the upside. And the momentum signals that you're seeing here um, do buoy it, so it does keep it uh, elevated, it does keep it going. So anytime you have a squeeze like this, where you see the red dot turning into a black dot like that, that is a trigger to the upside. So this squeeze has triggered to the upside. And you do have resistance that's coming in, both in the form of the 200-day moving average and the 100-day overlapping at 300. So that seems to be the uh, the level to break. It seems to be the line in the sand for additional continuation in the stock market. And at least for now, what I'm looking for is a test of the 300 level on SPY based on the fact that it's holding the 21 daily moving average. It has a squeeze and all the momentum structures are all positive and not overbought. So I'm looking for 300 on SPY. Um, some of the trades that I took today, uh, here's one that I did in Hormel, so not a crazy exciting name, but a very nice setup. So this is the maker of Spam. And what I'm seeing here is a pretty solid basing structure um, right at the moving averages. So we'll focus here on the daily, and you can see here you have the 100 and the 50 right underneath price. And you see this box of base, that, you, if you will? That, uh, that, that is setting up very nicely. So what I like to see here is a very nice basing structure, especially after a fall. Right, It had a fall into a nice basing structure. Uh, the momentum indicators are now positively crossed, exactly where they need to be. On the 195 minute chart, which is right here, you have a high compression squeeze with an upward bias. You can barely see it, but it's got a little bit of an upward bias there. The transition there from magenta to red is also a trigger, right? So if you're waiting for the squeeze to trigger green, it's going to be way too late. This is the kind of stuff you look for, and that is a proper transition. You have that here as well. And really the cake on this one comes on the three day and the weekly. This setup right there is quite proper for continuation. So Hormel does have earnings coming up uh, next week, I believe. I'll be looking to play this into earnings, but not through earnings. So at the very minimum on this one, I'm looking for a test of 49 into earnings, but I would not be surprised to see this push into 50 before earnings. And then um, if earnings go well, this setup here, which is a longer term setup, is, uh, is quite proper, not only to get to 50, but to actually make a new high above 51. So we did pick up Hormel today in the room. Uh, another one that I picked up was Campbell's, so another very exciting name, um, Campbell's Soup. So very similar setup to Hormel. You see the basing structure there, right? And uh, the basing structure kind of looks like this. You know, a little bit of a top there. And getting through that's pretty important. It's gotten through all the key levels that it needs to get through. There are a couple here. One was 49 and a half. It's above that. The other one was 51, uh, 51 11. It's above that. You have a high compression daily squeeze, which is the best type of squeeze that you can have. Momentum indicators are all positively crossing. High compression on the 195. And a very, very proper three day chart. Notice the similarities here between Campbell's and Hormel. Um, basically the same trade. So um, maybe a little bit more explosiveness in Campbell's based on the high compression daily, but they're basically the same trade. So I like that. I, 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 I like the fact that they're, uh, they're, they're, they have bases, they have structure, uh, and they have a little bit of underlying momentum underneath them in the form of the squeeze. And then the other one that I picked up today, now this one is a proper exciting name, um, is Zoom, ZM, Zoom Video. And on Zoom video here, what I did was a $175 butterfly for Friday. So I'd like to get it as close to $175 as possible without going too much over by Friday. But even if you don't play butterflies or if you just prefer more directional things like verticals or calls or 
asking anything in between. The setup here is totally justifiable for, for higher prices. So you have the sell-off after earnings, which is pretty much par for the course. That neutralizes all your momentum structures. And now you're back to neutral. You see that, how it's just starting to tick up from neutral, uh, especially on the daily and the 195? That's all really good. Um, so it's gotten above a key 618, roughly 163. And my next extension target comes in at 171, followed by 177.77, and then lastly, the highs at 181. So for now, uh, because we're not, we haven't cleared the resistance, I do have just a butterfly here, 175, for Friday. But the setup here, especially when you combine these two charts, totally justifies a, uh, a brand new all-time high here. Um, if you're going to play for the all-time high, the only thing that I would say is give yourself time for the setup to play out. Uh, you pretty much have that setup, that setup, and that setup playing together. So the idea that this could not only get above 180, but then makes a high somewhere around 200 eventually um, makes a lot of sense to me. Um, so for this one, if you're inclined to be a little bit more directional, I like the idea of uh, call debit verticals. If you prefer a little bit shorter dated that gives you um, good interplay with the passage of time, then I do have the 175 um, butterfly for Friday. So a little sample of what we did in the room today, um, but the big picture again goes back to SPY and SPY 300 is in the crosshairs. Um, so getting over that level is going to be a pretty big line in the sand and may determine the direction of the market for the next month or so, depending on how the market does at SPY 300. So keep that one on your radar and we'll see you for the next one. Cheers.